charcuterie. Carcuterie, but it's charcuterie. How do you say it again? Carcuterie. <laughs> You're just reversing the, the... Oh, okay. So, a charcuterie <laughs> that's aged in vintage vehicles. There's yeah. nothing more hipster than this. No, there isn't. So, like there, a 1957 a Willys sedan that I have up, up, up by um, Bangor, Maine, could have a uh, main specific game meet like moose. Does that one run? That's aging. What do you mean run? <laughs> it's, it's for aging it go, stuff. I know, Why but you have you, to I, like drive. I, well, I'm asking, could that, could that, can that go from point A to point B? Yes, on a trailer. It, on a trailer. <laughs> We're actually driving. On an to, adventure. On an adventure. We're going to uh, New York City. I have been invited to taste a very rare whiskey. It's a Craig Ellicke, 51 year old. And so I got the invite. There was only two invites for for Massachusetts. One was an off premise and one was an on premise. Meaning a bar or a bar restaurant. Bar or restaurant and a retail. And a store. And a retail. I got the invite to go as the retailer to try this whiskey. So um, I figured, well, what the hell? Let's just drive down to New York and uh, you can circle the. Right. The block and while I, I go in. To park the car and do the driving on the way back after you drink some whiskey. Yes. Yeah. No, well, let's be clear about it. It's safety, Randall. I agree. It's safety. So this is a rare opportunity. Most people don't drink single malt scotch whiskeys that are this old. Right. And it's very exclusive and rare. And so you, this isn't even something you can really buy, right? You can't buy it. As a matter of fact, what Craig Ellicke did is they have this super rare old 51 year old whiskey rather than just bottling it and putting it out to have only have so many bottles out there getting astronomical pricing for it they said you know what it's it, and rightfully so they said let's 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 put a spotlight on the rest of the Craig Ellicke line by having the, you go out and taste this 51 for free it's for free if you get if you get chosen if you got chosen if you get chosen even as a right even as a consumer you can get chosen they're having contests in that way you they're also going to taste you on of course the rest of the Craig Ellicke line oh so it's the full lineup too. I think it's the full lineup I think I think you get a couple other things so what but most people are going to go because they can taste that in their store or at their restaurant right they're going for the exclusive special one exactly right. I mean but that's the draw but in the in the meantime, if you get to try some of the other Craig Ellicke oh, no, I, I like whiskeys, to see and in, they're really good, by the, the way. In the context of right, the whole lineup, right. yeah. Char no, carcuterie. Carcuterie. How do you do that in a vehicle that's sitting out this in the sun? Right. Oh, it's <laughs> wild. It's wild. You don't oh, it's going to be wild, these. all right. We made it to New York, one piece. We're here, uh, we're at the event right now, so we're gonna be going in a little bit while. We're gonna try the Craig Ellicke 51 year old whiskey. How are you? Straight back. Place to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So, what I want you to do is, if you have, I'm not looking at any. Cast your mind back to 1962. Not even a twinkle in my dad's eye. <laughs> <laughs> so in 1962, Kennedy was in the White House. Um, it did, it actually, if you notice, it did have a little bit of that, um, I, which I sort of predicted had a little bit of that apricot, but it definitely had a, almost a minty at the end. Um, definitely had a little bit of that, I wouldn't say smokiness, but like oily. It does, have, it did have a smoke, I mean, because they were malting it's at the oil distillery. Fire, oil and, fire. That's yeah, what they say that they use. No, but they're kiln drying the, right. the barley, they're not using an oil fire. Because uh, they would but they would fire the stills with an oil. Right. So it was excellent. But what would you what would you place a fifty one year old limited production bottle at? That those bottles would um, if you were guessing. conservatively those would go for about thirteen grand. You think thirteen? Yeah. Thirteen or well, actually in today's market maybe fifteen or sixteen. Yeah, I would say I was gonna say it was probably closer to twenty. Just because of the much. presentation and right. Craig Elegy doesn't have that that cachet of the that name. Cache, yeah, that yeah. cachet. It's sort of like so. Um, Glenn Grant's fifty-year-olds go for about um, thirteen to fourteen thousand dollars. Yeah, a bottle. So I would put this in that same sort of category of noteworthiness. Great name. Yeah, I, I guess Craig Elegy, even though it is a fantastic, I like Craig single Elegy. malt. Right. It just 
it was until it's a, better known, yeah. I don't think you could get the bigger dollars. Bigger dollars, right? So but, I, I stick with my original assessments out of like twelve to thirteen. Yeah, if you did them. I mean, only well, fifty-one bottles. Too, and and I would thing. say that after they, if they tasted them all out. If you could purchase a bottle, that would boost the price up to 15 right. to 18. I think she was genuine and honest. Yeah. I think a lot of people portray it from a marketing perspective that they stumble across some barrel of whiskey. And as we know, the tax burden on those barrels is so steep and so controlled that somewhere people know about that barrel. It may not be the guy who just got the keys to the warehouse and is starting his second week, but somewhere in the company they know because well, they're, they're paying, paying the tax on it, all the tax right. on it. But they're looking at a tax they can as get like it out. a number of barrels and uh, based on a formula, it, and they'd have to actually know that that barrel was there. Yeah, you but the bean I mean? counter is going to go. We have paid on this one barrel seventy thousand right, pounds right. in right. taxes. Right. Char no car cooter. Car shootery. <laughs> it's not actually a, an operating vehicle. No, it's, it's just, just using it warehouse. And it has to be appropriate to the location uh -huh. and the game meat that's okay. being done but in that not, area. Like, like the first person and who it, dies from charcuterie. No, you're going to do it in a process that kills germs, <laughs> that makes it somewhat safe. But oh, that's in terms so, wait of a controlling minute. flavor, you're not going to be able to control the key this stuff. To that, the key to that was somewhat safe. I want right. you to listen to what you said. Somewhat safe. It's a preservative safe. process. They've used it since I, Roman times. They the have. Things. They have, but they also and know And they don't have how an environmental it, control on They stuff. do. They do too. But they put it, it in a cave. It, okay, but that's the cave. All right. So All right, we're so drive we're, your car into the cave. And, oh, we're going to roll down Tennessee. the windows? 